Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Super Crazy Gaming, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, so normally I would post a gaming video, but um, recently I've been doing a lot of upgrades to, com to my computer, like a new graphics card and some new storage um, just recently. And I ran into a problem when I was installing my new hard drive and SSD. They didn't pop up. So if I pull up the file explorer here, as you can see, if I go to this PC, it doesn't show up. Here's my drive right now, the one that I have everything on, all my games and files and all that kind of stuff. And this is my external uh, HDD that I use for recording all my videos. And I store everything on there and I backed up most of my games. But Currently, I have everything plugged in, everything's good, but it doesn't show up here. I have my main drive in this drive, and the device manager showed me that it was installed, I loaded up the BIOS, it also showed that it was there, um, but it just doesn't show up here. So today, I am going to be showing you guys how to get your drives to show up. So what you want to do is you want to pull up the file explorer. Um, make sure you click on this PC. And then you want to go right up here to computer. Click on that. And then go to over here on the far right, manage. It'll pull up this window right here. Um, computer management. And what you want to do is you want to go down to the storage tab. If it's not already down, just click this little drop down arrow right here. Um, and it'll pull up this you want to click on disk management let it load and as you can see right here we have my new drives my one terabyte SSD and a six terabyte um, HDD that I just barely installed today um, and it says unallocated because they're not set up yet where these two my SSD and my other HDD are so to set up a drive, what you want to do is you want to left click on it so it's selected, and then right click, click new simple volume, and it'll bring up this little setup wizard uh, menu. What you want to do is just click next. Uh, don't mess with this. This is um, where it sets all of the, uh, it sets how much memory it can use. Uh, don't touch that. It's already all set up. Just click next. Here, what you want to do um, is you want to just click assign the following drive letter um, if you haven't already and you can set it to whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as uh, I'm gonna set it as G um, because this is where I'm gonna be putting most of my games or um, most of my new games uh, like COD World War 2 when that comes out and and such um, and then you can just click next. Don't mess with this too much. Um, NTFS, that's just standard for Windows. I have no clue what XFAT is, just don't touch that. Um, if you can't click anything here, that's because you have to click on uh, format this volume with the following settings and you set them to this right here. Um, for the volume label, you can name that whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna name it games 2 because that's my second drive for games uh, the allocation allocation unit size leave that as default Perform a quick format that'll just make everything a lot easier for you uh, so you can just click next and as you can see all of our settings are here um, so what you want to do is just click finish and as you can see here it is formatting and there we go now, since my computer is really good, it worked really fast. Um, but if you have a slower computer, older computer, whatever, uh, it might take a few seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, um, depending on your computer. Um, but that is basically how you get your drive to work. Um, there's nothing on it, obviously, because my operating system is on the other one. But if I go here, you can see 931 of 931 gigabytes free, and it is now showed up. 
So I'm just gonna go through that one more time on this one to make sure you guys got that. So left click, right click, new simple volume, next, next, assign it to whatever letter you want. I'm just gonna keep it as F, click next, leave everything the same, but name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name this programs, I guess. Um, leave everything else the same. You don't even have to do the volume label, but that's, I just like doing that. It makes everything nice and neat. Click next. Everything is here. And then just click finish. It'll format. And then it'll bring it up right here. Here's your new drive. You can click on this PC. And as you can see, I now have 5.45 terabytes free, which is kind of a rip off because it's a six terabyte drive. But when we're talking that big of numbers, that's five 0.45 trillion bytes or you know that that that's a lot of storage so i am fine with losing um what would that be 550 gigabytes uh sounds like a lot but you know i don't really care because that is a lot of storage um so i hope this has helped some of you people uh i know it i know it uh, stumped me for a while. I was just kind of sitting here clicking through a bunch of stuff and I figured it out. Um, so yeah, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, I will see you dudes in the next video. See ya!